Greetings, dear one. Yes, as I Christ, my Mary is here with me as well. I wish to speak today about the beginning of a new life cycle, a new opportunity for each of you. For this is the beginning of a transitional state from one soul cycle into another. It is indeed important for you to understand that due to the energies that are bringing that are being brought forth upon this planet at this time, that every soul has an opportunity to shift into another cycle, into an advanced transitional state of learning, receiving, and yes, acknowledging that their soul is receiving powerful new light codes during this powerful ascension period. If you are listening to this, then you are one of the many who are receiving this gift from your soul to upgrade new opportunities, new life lessons, and yes, an opportunity for you to advance your soul into an expansive level of consciousness in your own ascension process. So today, with your permission, your own soul is making a decision to merge forward into a new life cycle as if you are ending one life and moving into another. You do not have to physically transition out of your body since you have completed your soul mission, your soul journey at this level. You are simply advancing and your soul is receiving this rare opportunity to move forward in the ascension process during this powerful ascension period. Do not worry, do not be frightened, but simply allow yourself to transition with ease and grace from one soul cycle into another, as if you are graduating from one grade into another grade, that you have graduated, as they say, and advanced your consciousness into a higher dimensional frequency. Some of you may begin to feel a sense of ease and others may begin to feel a sense of dis-ease, meaning that depending on where you are at in your consciousness, it may be a bit of a shift or a struggle to merge from one life cycle into another. But for others, the transition will be smooth as if you are on a sailboat and you're simply sailing along. But there will be a new sense of freedom, a new sense of excitement as new opportunities come your way that will allow your soul to continue to advance and to learn and to receive the opportunities that are for your highest good. And so regardless of what you understand, each of you are at this pivotal point that will allow your soul to receive. My Mary and I stand with you, as well as my mother and my father upon this day. For you see, it is a part of what happened to me when I was crucified upon the cross and I made 
my own level of ascension on the day of my crucifixion. I did not physically die, but my own soul advanced into a higher realm of my own self-mastery, into my own ascension. And so today, each of you are being given this gift without physically dying, without suffering, without any pain. You are simply moving into a higher dimensional frequency and a higher light of awareness. And so allow yourself this beautiful gift of this transitional state that is being offered to you today. For Mary, my mother and my father, are with you and your soul so that you can move forward with ease and grace. Just as my family was with me during my own ascension as I moved into higher consciousness and moved in to what we call the altered state of my I am presence at the moment of my own crucifixion. You are each receiving this gift as we are holding the space and anchoring the light within your own soul so that you may receive. Today is a powerful day of reclamation. It's a powerful day of ascension. It is a powerful day of healing. It is a powerful day of love. I ask each of you, if you so shall, please take a deep inhaling breath and simply begin to breathe in the energy of the white light of God, breathing in the energy of the white light of God, breathing in the energy of the white light of God, breathing in the energy of the white light of God, God, allowing yourself to tap into your soul as you breathe into your heart and feel the essence of love. Breathing into your heart and feeling the essence of love. Truly, may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you wherever you are, God is and all is well. Continue to breathe into your heart as we help your soul to move in from one cycle into another and allow the excitement and the anticipation of your new soul cycle to begin. As if you were like a newborn baby that is starting a new. There will be excitement and anticipation and you'll begin to feel the freshness of life and begin to see from a child's eyes the excitement of living on the earth plane. No longer being tainted, subdued by what you have gone through in this life cycle. You're being given this gift to reawaken and to allow your soul to simply be free. So I ask you at this time to take another deep breath and breathe into your heart, breathing into your soul. as my mother, my father, Mary, and myself anchor the energies of the new earth energies into your soul, into your consciousness, into your physicality, allowing these powerful force fields of energy to now deepen your connection to your soul journey. It does not matter how old or young you are. You are being, as they say, rebirthed again, reborn again, renewed again, 
restored into your vitality. And the soul and your own soul are truly feeling the essence of the powerful light that is being brought forth onto this planet and into all sentient beings who are ready to receive. Today you are ending one cycle and moving into another. Your soul contract that you have agreed and made the agreement remain the same to much of your surprise. But your soul will continue to advance with a higher level of understanding of these soul agreements and soul contracts. You'll be able to have a fresh perspective on life and you begin to feel the energy of your light affecting so many others because you have moved into this next phase of your own life cycle you have an opportunity to assist so many others in assisting them in their own soul journey by example by your mere presence, you are assisting others to evolve and to move forward. Of letting go of the past and moving forward into the present moment. You see, this is what happened yesterday as Lee has asked the question about her stepmother and her own mother. This opportunity was for both souls, Lee's mother and Lee's stepmother, to move forward, to let go of the past and to merge into the now. It was a simple act of taking care of Lee's mother's gravestone. It simply was an act of love and kindness. But it allowed her stepmother's soul and her mother's soul to move forward. And so you see, dearest one, as you merge into this new soul cycle, you have the ability to affect other people and their own soul. This is just one example. It is why it happened and caught Lee's attention as most unusual. It is a part of this new soul cycle that all of you are merging into. You will be able to affect other people without even trying because your energy and your essence is at an elevated level and at a greater level of what we call self-mastery. And the healing that will take place within yourself and others will simply be effortless. This is simply one example of a part of this new soul cycle shift. This is extremely important because many souls are not able to move forward out of these old earth energies and the densities of the energy that has plagued this planet. With the new earth energies that have been brought forward, onto this planet with 
the divine Father, Mother, God essence being awakened and also each of you are pivotal points of light that will jumpstart and help others to heal, to move from the third dimension, moving into the fourth dimension and beyond. Simply what I'm saying is that you are a catalyst to help others to shift out of old patterns, old beliefs, and old energies. that no longer serve yourself or anyone else. I know this may sound a bit complicated to some degree, but the power of your soul to heal at an exponential level is indeed very powerful. So simply allow yourself to receive this gift of your new life and soul cycle. And allow the miracles to unfold, not only in your own life, but with those around you. you'll begin to see a shift in consciousness of others that will allow them to move forward in their own soul journey. Places where they've been mentally or emotionally stuck, they're able to release these blockages with ease and grace. And you are simply the catalyst because you've chosen at this time to merge into a new soul cycle, into an accelerated and expanded level of consciousness of your own soul. As an advanced master, you're able to assist and to bring miracles forward onto the earth. As I have said, this is a rare opportunity of the soul to move forward into this new level of their soul journey. Typically, when the soul journey is complete, the incarnation is over. But in this case, all of you are given an opportunity to continue to expand in your physical life and continue on with even greater power, with greater force, with greater light. It simply did not mean that your journey of your physical life was soon to be over. It simply is that the energies have allowed your soul to advance, to jumpstart into a new level. And so understand at this time that nothing is lost. Nothing is left behind. You have completed and received all that you needed in your original soul cycle. But for now, your awakening, your consciousness, will begin to be truly expanded. It's important, as I said before, to allow yourself to rest during this powerful ascension period because so much will be changing within your own individual lives. Rest, rest, rest as much as possible. And allow your soul to rest and to receive.
And so once again, I ask you to take a deep inhaling breath. And I will step back and allow my Mary to speak. As she will continue to activate not only your heart chakra, but awaken your pineal and your pituitary gland at a deeper level. I shall step back and allow my Mary to speak. And we thank you, Christ, and we are forever grateful for this beautiful, beautiful gift we are receiving today in our soul ascension. Greetings, dear ones. Yes, it is I, Mary Magdalene, as I come forward. I wish for you to feel the power of your own soul as you've made the agreement to continue to bring healing to yourself and onto the world. From this day forward, your soul will be a healing balm to many. Many will be attracted to you and drawn to you for your healing abilities. Rather, they will feel the energy of your own soul. As if there is something that is magnetic, that is healing, that draws them to you. Perhaps you will begin to feel this sense of self-empowerment. You need to feel the strength of your own soul. This is a part of the balance of the divine masculine, divine feminine aspects of your soul. That which Joshua and I brought forward in our book, Divine Union, the love story of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. That which we both mastered in our lifetimes, the balance of the yin and the yang, the balance of the Mother, Father, God essence within our own souls. And so you're receiving this gift of balance today where your soul is receiving this beautiful gift so that you can continue to strengthen and be empowered that you can stand in the truth of your beautiful soul and spirit essence. It is that which Joshua and I wish to bring to all souls so there can be balance and healing upon this planet, that all souls are able to release the lower vibrational frequencies of that which has, has plagued them. You see, as you release your soul cycle and merge into this new expanded soul cycle, you're letting go of all that has plagued you, as they say, as you entered into this incarnation with your soul life lessons. But you are holding the space for others to do the same. And so this is a gift as a new light there. As you are holding this new light codes upon the planet, you are continuing to activate and heal others through your presence. Without their awareness, that their soul is aware. Perhaps their consciousness is not. And so you will find these opportunities to bring healing to yourself and onto others. And so Joshua and I, Mother Mary and Joseph stand with you as we continue to anchor your soul and your new soul into your physical embodiment, into your etheric blueprint into all aspects of your being. 
as if it's a changing of the guard, so to speak. And your soul is ready to receive. And truly, may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you wherever you are, God is, and all is well. So the power, feel the presence, feel the love. Feel the power, feel the presence, feel the love. Feel the power, feel the presence, feel the love. Knowing that the energy that is being brought to you at this time is a gift from the heavens. And it is important for you to receive so that you continue to bring healing to this world as a beautiful light bearer that you are. Bringing joy to the world, joy to the world, joy to the world. You are bringing joy to the world by your mere presence. Bringing joy to the world, joy to the world, joy to the world. This is the energy of the God essence as you bring joy to the world. So the power of the presence, so the love, so the joy. Letting go, letting God, letting go, letting God. Truly, truly, truly allowing your beautiful light to shine. Joy to the world, joy to the world. Joy to the world. Joshua and I stand with you, and we stand beside you. And may you call in the energy and the essence of peace upon your own soul. May you call upon the energy and the essence of peace upon your own soul. As Mother and Joseph continue to hold the space of love for each of you, as you move into this next soul cycle, with ease and grace, with joy, love, peace, and compassion within your heart. And that as you emerge into this next cycle, you will continue to serve and to be served. Loved, honored, and adored for the beautiful essence of your own soul. And so, dear ones, feel the power, feel the presence, feel the peace, feel the joy. And allow the excitement and the anticipation of your soul to be received as this new cycle of life begins anew for each of you. Opportunities will abound. As you move forward into this next life cycle of your life. And so expect the unexpected. And continue to expect the miracles to occur within your own life and in those around you. You are powerful, powerful, powerful change makers as you shift the lower vibrational frequencies from fear to love, bringing light where there was darkness and continue to clear the blockages so that others can move forward into their own soul journey with ease and grace. All done unconsciously or consciously by yourself, that you are a transmitter of this powerful change and the new earth energies that are being brought forth upon the planet. You are new powerful transmitters of change of the new earth energies that are being brought forth upon this planet. Indeed, you are the change you wish to see. Prepare yourself to receive. Prepare yourself to receive. Prepare yourself to receive. 
go forward, my children, and allow the light of God, essence, to truly surround your own soul. Allow yourself to feel the presence of God's living light within the essence of your being. Joshua, Mother, Joseph, and myself, we continue to hold this space of love for you as you move forward into this beautiful energy of grace, peace, love, compassion, mercy, and forgiveness. Knowing that your beautiful soul has transitioned into a higher state of consciousness. What a beautiful gift that you have received upon this day. Allow yourself to accept this new level of your life cycle and receive the love that's being infused within the essence of your being. Powerful, powerful, powerful love is being infused within the essence of your being. Go now, my children. You are powerful change makers. You are the peacekeepers. You are the way showers. You are the new messengers of hope. Go forward in peace. Go forward in peace. Go forward in peace. And we thank you, Mary. We thank you, Joshua. We thank you, Holy Mother. We thank you, Joseph. We thank all the beings of light to accept forward to assist. As we thank our souls allowing us to move forward into this new soul cycle as we continue to bring healing to ourselves and onto the world. In this we give our thanks and our blessings, and so it is.